Pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, the team finds themselves in the middle of a drug ring and a family feud in the episode Fruit of the Poison Tree. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired from January 22nd to February 4th, 1989, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on January 30th, Olympian Bruce Kimball was found guilty of manslaughter after an August 1st, 1988 accident in which a drunk Kimball drove into a crowd of teenagers, killing two and injuring four. Kimball was sentenced to 17 years in prison but was released in less than five, and his driving privileges were reinstated even after being permanently revoked previously. On the same day, former New York criminal defense lawyer Joel Steinberg was found guilty of first-degree manslaughter for the murder of his illegally adopted daughter. He would be paroled in 2004. In sports, on January 22nd, the San Francisco 49ers defeated the Cincinnati Bengals in Super Bowl 23. In one of the most memorable Super Bowls, Joe Montana led the 49ers 92 yards and scored the winning touchdown with just 34 seconds left in the game. Hall of Famer Jerry Rice would be named Super Bowl MVP, and after winning his third Super Bowl, 49ers head coach Bill Walsh would retire. In music, Bobby Brown's short reign on the top of the Hot 100 comes to a close as an old favorite claims the top spot once again. From the soundtrack for the film Buster is Two Hearts by Phil Collins. Film starred Phil and this was his second number one from the soundtrack. Two Hearts would receive both a Grammy and an Oscar nomination, which would be much more successful than the film. In movies, Rain Man is still on top of the box office, so we go to the archives. To be honest, if you were going to the theater at this time in 1989, it was slim pickings. I'm going to skip Her Alibi starring Tom Selleck and Physical Evidence starring Burt Reynolds because both of those movies are terrible. Instead, let's talk about a movie that at least made money in its run in theaters. Starring Ted Danson and the amazing Isabella Rossellini is the film Cousins. The romantic comedy was directed by Joel Schumacher and at least had a good cast which is more than what the other two movies can say. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.